Hello, family and friends. This is Kim with Shopping on Shoestrings. You seem a little crooked, but still haven't gotten a new tripod. I'm going to try and get over to Walmart in a few days and hopefully I can pick a new one up from over there. Um, have a Goodwill haul for you. It's a real small one, but I still want to show you what I got. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. Um, I am in the process of moving from that apartment. So I'm staying back in a house that I used to live in. It's a um, house that's uh, in the family. So uh, I'm in a big mess. That's why I'm not making too many videos right now. And I really haven't ordered anything. So, But we'll start. 99 cents for a nice big pack of hangers. I don't know. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, a dozen. So that's not bad because I was in big need of hangers. So a dozen hangers, which is really awesome. I got two packs. So I got another one. So I got two packs of 12, so that's 24 hangers. $4.98. Not bad. They were 99 cents a pack. Because yeah, I needed those. I was, well, my son wanted to stop by because we went out and got a load of my stuff and he wouldn't stop by and so I picked up just a few things. I think my bill was $9 and well, here's the ticket. It wasn't too much. I spent $9.15, so not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. And then um, I needed some ice trays. So this is a pack of two, brand new, sealed for $0.59. Cents, um, because um, when these plastic ones get older, I've had a few of them break on me, and like, I needed to replace them, so... Not bad for 59 cents, because I need buys, I tell you. And then, um, I do have chickens here in the property. Um, I wanted a basket that air could flow through for me to put the eggs in. Uh, so, I, I, I think this is a Dollar Tree basket, actually. It looks like one day Dollar Tree. It was 59 cents. So, and it's red, which I like red in my kitchen. So that worked out for 59 cents. Now I can put my eggs in there because I just got them in a regular bowl and they should I, be in a bowl, I believe, that has airflow. So, and then I found this navy hat and it was $3.99. Betmar, New York, and it is navy, and it's a summer hat, so, and I needed a, a navy summer, actually I think I need a navy winter, so I hurried up and grabbed this hat up, yep, so, to go with uh, my navy um, clothing for my 1940s, it's got a little bow on the back, so I was real happy to get this hat. And that's it. That's it for my Goodwill haul. I said it was a small one, but I still wanted to show you what I had found. Oops, I missed the trash can. So I might look a hot mess because I tell you, I've had so much work to do. Um, I got my garden spot by the porch, the top part, not the lower part where the strawberries are. I got that all cleaned out, and um, slow but sure, I'm trying to get some of my plants down here, but the um, problem I'm having is the flipping raccoons are eating everything. So I'm going to figure out a way to put some kind of fencing up there. It may not look good, but I don't care just to keep them out because it just can't be eating all my stuff, which ain't doing worth a shit anyway since I have it been out there to take care of it 
Um, at any rate, um, I got the chicken yard and coop cleaned up. That was, that took me days to get that. It was so overgrown, the rung area with, uh, because there's netting over the top to keep hawks, because we do have hawks here, from swooping down and getting the chickens. Well, that is, there's some kind of vine that it grew so heavily over it that you have it's almost to a crawl to get to the coop, and it's like not with my back. So it took me about three days worth of work on uh, taking my time and getting all. I should have showed you a before picture. Yeah, but it looks pretty nice now. Um, I got to get some zip ties. I looked on Holler. They only have the big ones. I thought they had a variety pack because I really want smaller ones, but maybe I'll look at Walmart for that too. Um, and then I'm going to have to get some twine that I do think I've seen a roll around here because there's a couple places that had some rips in the netting that I'm using clothespins. I use clothespins for everything. But I'm going to need my clothespins back. So I'm going to use some yarn, kind of hand sew, you know, just with my fingers. Um, those, um, the slit spots, uh, which will hold better than the clothespins are just a temporary. It's just for right now. And then I got the netting all kind of stretched out. So now I can walk through there, standing up, um, might have to duck ever so slightly, but now it's not going to bother my back to get back to let the hens out. I've only got two, uh, Ginger and Cleo. Ginger's red and Cleo's dark feathered. Um, I don't know what kind they are. I know they lay brown eggs, but I can't remember what my son said they were. But I know the red one's not a row down red. It's some kind of a different kind of chicken. But they are each now. At first they weren't giving me eggs. He just had them on crack corn. And it's like I went and brought him a um, calcium um, what is it, scratch or something. I don't know. That's not pellets. At any rate, I got a 50 pound bag of that and um, they whacked down all the greens for me now that they've been getting out. So that pretty took care of that problem. They did that for me. And um, I'll have to take you out and do a video um, and, uh, sometime. And uh, so now they're laying eggs. I'm getting a leg at two eggs every morning, one from each one of them. So I'm really, really happy, and I cleaned their coop out. That was a hoot, but gave me lots of fertilizer. Um, and then finally got the yard mowed, because I can't mow, and I don't have a mower, and I couldn't mow if I did. Um, so um, I've got someone that's going to be doing that for me. And... Uh, but that area looks so nice. I really should have done it before and then after. I just wasn't thinking it's been so chaotic. Um, but yeah, they look good. So I'm happy about that. I just got a piece of wood that I want to get. Um, really need to buy myself a drill because I could put it in myself. I just don't have a drill. I want to put a perch inside their coop for them. Um, I tried to use a couple of nice size sticks but they keep knocking them down so I, I, I need to get a one that's a solidly in there for the girls so they can uh, roost that's about it for right now I've got a lot to do I've got a lot going on I'm dead tired and it's early in the morning it's only around 11 so at any hoot um I will talk to you guys later. Bye.